Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Philip here with another how-to video. Uh, so today I had an interesting thing happen on my disk drive. I was extracting uh, a folder from, uh, from a friend of mine and he happens to be from Japan. And when I extracted the folder, it, it didn't extract properly. I was trying to access it and this happened says that it's unavailable which is weird because i'm pretty sure it extracted so so there might be a, something wrong here uh i ended up being able to extract the files on another way separately not including the folder but clearly the folder has some sort of character or it corrupted the file system somehow um so I just figure, okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. I just want to delete this folder now. So I just try to delete it. And this happens. Could not find this item. This is no longer located. Well, this is a bit annoying because it's on my downloads folder. And I don't want this forever. So can be a lot of reasons that this is, this is happening. It can be uh, file corruption uh, that this has happened somehow into the file structure. Um... It can sometimes just be fixed just by rebooting your computer. So I tried that. It didn't really work. Uh, so I tried the next uh, step, which is to check to do a check disk. Uh, you type it like this: check disk on your on your uh, computer folder. It just checks the your entire disk. Uh, you need to run it on administrator. So you when you type command here, you need to right click, run as administrator, and then you accept, and then you can type check disk. And it will just check your disk if there are any errors on it. And if it finds any errors, it will automatically fix them for you, which is awesome. Uh, so I run this and it also didn't give me any problem. So clearly it was not a problem of the file system itself. It's something else, which I don't really know. So I searched a little bit on the internet and I decided to record this video to, to showcase that the way to fix this is that you need to delete this, but uh, you need to delete this using the short name because what is happening here, you use command on this folder to go to the directory under uh, under the, the, the command line thing. What is happening here is that this this folder is um, it's listed here. If you try to delete it through command line as well, it also doesn't work. The system cannot find this file Spotify. What is happening here is that the long file name is not the same as the short file name. And uh, this is legacy from old Windows. Um, so back in the day, you only used to have, I think it's eight characters per, per each uh, file name. And that's the file description that they have how they are tagged and then when the new versions of windows came along i think it was probably windows 95 that had it you could use long file names but internally they would reduce it to a smaller file name so if there's some sort of misalignment between the long file name and the short file name you'll get this error that i'm getting here so it's probably like a japanese character or uh, the encoding of the character that was somehow wrong because it was typing on the japanese character on the japanese keyboard something like that might have happened that made this file uh, what it is so how do you delete this afterwards uh, if you type dir slash x it will show you uh, the short file name as well with is which is insta instant uh tilde one so if you try to really to delete this one it will work so you have to type like this one and i know it will give me an, another error but i want to show you guys uh, the directory is not empty uh, which is normal usually you need to delete stuff from the directory before removing it you can either go access the directory itself delete the files there and then go backwards or you can use the slash s uh, parameter which says to rec sub recursively delete everything inside the the folder uh are you sure yes I want, i'm sure i want to delete it and now the file is deleted which is great now i can uh and i'm done i can i can it, it also removed from here as well so as you can see, this is the way that you can remove these files when you have this kind of issues. I just wanted to document this so it stays on the internet for reference further on. This was made in Windows 10, by the way. 
but I believe it's a similar issue with uh, other instances of Windows as well. So I uh, hope you guys have a nice day and that this video was useful. See you next time. Bye bye everyone. Take care.